Good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here. It's just a real quick tip on um, goatskin leather and specifically these Cambridge goatskin leather Bibles. Um, beware, folks. Um, I don't believe that you're getting anything near what they advertise you should be getting. Um, as you can see, I have, you know, I have a cat and for some reason, um, cats have a fascination with leather. Um, and this cat specifically, more than any cat that I've ever had, has a serious fascination with leather. She likes clawing leather. Um, that's really good leather because I'll tell you what, she's been hacking at that couch right there down in the corner and you can't see everywhere and you can't see a mark, a nail print, nothing. Um, it's good leather, quality leather. Um, this stuff here, I was really surprised. Um, now, you know, it has a polymer liner. Okay. And I get that. But when you're paying a specific price for that, all right, you're expecting that to be, you know, all that and more. Um, the cover is very soft and cushiony. Uh, that's because they have a thin foam liner in between the polymer liner and the actual goat skin. Now, that, I thought the goat skin was at least, um, um, you know, thick enough uh, to endure the hacking of my little kitty, right? Yeah, you like hacking my Bible. She knows I'm talking to her, right? She's hacking up my chair. She loves hacking up my chair. Stop it. Look what she did. Now, look, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not trying to give Cambridge a bad rap, but this is how thick this goatskin is. If... If it will zoom in on just my fingertip, it won't because uh, there it goes, hopefully. Well, you get the point. This stuff is super, super thin. And if it gets cut, if you tear it, if it begins to, that's the first mark she made. Then she went crazy, I think probably last night, and I came down this morning and I noticed that there was a piece of this leather was sticking up. And so I grabbed it and sure enough, pulled it and yep, peeled right off. Wow. Goat skin leather, huh? Mm -hmm. um, it may be goat skin and it may be, um, I don't know, I don't think that it's worth the money. If that's what's going to happen when, you know, the slightest nick or, you know, you see scratches on cowhide. When you get cowhide, you get a real durable leather. It's thick, but it's durable, but it's, it's durable. I mean, you know, hey, hooray for cowhide. Let me tell you, as thin as this cowhide is... As thin as this cowhide is that I use, it's just thin, but it's, wow, she hacks at this. I mean, she really does hack at this with her nails, and you don't see any nail prints in this Bible. I've seen her hacking at this Bible, and there is not a nail print in it, and it's because it's a cowhide. It's a st strong, durable leather. Cowhide is the best, if you ask me, in my opinion, leather that you can use to bind a Bible. Um, this will be put up for a rebind because of the text block, which is the most important thing for me. But I want a good leather cover that's going to last me a lifetime. And this is obviously not going to last a lifetime. If that's going to happen just from a little tiny kitty scratching at it, yeah. Not worth it for me. I spent a lot of money on this Bible. This Bible cost me almost $200. Um, it's not worth it, folks. Um, be careful what you pay for. Um, because uh, 
you're not getting everything that they're advertising it to be. Um, so, yeah, goat skin is expensive. You're going to pay all that money for goat skin? Watch out. Cambridge, you need to check this. Uh, the thickness of your goat skin is not as uh, um, uh, strong and durable as you make it out to be. What is that? That's not leather. Leather doesn't look like that. Yeah. I think that's the polymer liner showing through. This leather is very, very thin. So, hey, thanks for watching, folks. Jesus loves you. We love you. Hope and pray that you have a great day in Jesus' name.